today I thought I'd just go over some of my recent buys um, for the month of July and August because I don't mind doing these videos I think people are interested in seeing what other people get and what's out there um, just to give them some ideas I haven't read all of these yet but you know I will do in the future and obviously I'll put up full reviews of them when I do so look, first off is an omnibus from Marvel it is Age of Apocalypse omnibus big old thing I'm not a biggest fan of the X-Men but the Age of Apocalypse storyline, I don't mind. Um, I haven't read all these issues that are collected in here, um, but um, I've read the main storyline. But I thought this came up, it had been out of print for a while. I wanted to add it to my collection, so, so I grabbed it at a not extortionate price, let's say. Next one is Death or Glory. Uh, this was a book suggested by a viewer, and I'm really glad I got it. Um, funny enough, <laughs> I didn't realise it came in this um, prestige edition, which is library format, um, or library edition size, sorry I should say, not deluxe format, it's bigger than that. Um, and I'd actually bought the first volume on digital format on Comixology. But I'm so glad I realised this format was available, because um, I got it for a good price, about £25, and it looks like a great quality um, book. I need to obviously crack the plastic on this in order to uh, read the second volume, which I hope to do this weekend, and then I'll get a review up as soon as possible. Now for some trades. We've got Nowhere Men from Image. This is a science fiction book. It's about experiments going wrong and a sort of general sci-fi story. I will review this because it's a fun read. Um, unfortunately, it needed a sequel or another trade um, to finish off the story and it doesn't look like that's coming but this is a good read on its own anyway but we'll to do a quick review about that um, this weekend or next weekend then oh this is a collection of trades that I got from one of my favorite British writers John Allison called By Night um, illustrations by Christine Larson um, it's three books, it is a mystery collection. Initially from the covers you'd think it would be a sort of kids book, but it's not. It's about young adults in a town who trying to find their way. Uh, they go to film a documentary, find a portal to another world, and then there's a mystery surrounding that in their town they have to unravel. Um, I can't say any more than that until I review it because it's a story with twists and turns and it didn't go where I expected but it went in a much better direction than I expected. If you see my reviews on Wicked Things or Steeple you'll know the kind of humour that's in this um, and it's the kind of humour I really like. Next one is Star Wars The Old Republic um, Legends collection from Marvel. Um, this is one that I got because basically the Predator Omnibus was cancelled or has been delayed until next year so I wanted to get something this came out got it for a good price because I struck at the right time I should probably do a separate video on where to buy things from and how to get a good price actually but um, I love the artwork in this I like the style of writing and it's a fast fun adventure um, looking forward to unsealing this and seeing what extras you get in the, the omnibus but I have read some of the original Dark Horse ones of this. Oh, next up is just a manga, um, How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift, Volume 7. Uh, love this series, it's really fun, really funny, and it's just good. If you, like, if you like working out and you want to read a comic book, you can get these nice and cheap. Um, usually a few, a month or two after they've come out, you can get them for like four or five pounds. They're just a good, a good read. Next one is Captain America by Dan Jurgens, Omnibus from Marvel. Got this suspiciously cheap online. It's not got a publisher's return mark or anything, but it was around the £40 mark. Um, I thought it was going to be way, way more expensive than that, and I wouldn't have bought it if it was. But um haven't read this run, but looking forward to it, and I just bought it speculatively, because I thought well, that was just too good a price not to get it at. Um, although I did think it might not turn up, or it might just be ruined <laughs> when it did for that price. But it's brand new and sealed, so there you go. Uh, next up is the Key House Compendium from Lock and Key. This I've already got the slipcase edition, which I'll have to sell now. Um, but this is just what they call a compendium. It's an omnibus of Lock and Key, uh, which is good because I haven't read the last two volumes of Lock and Key properly. So I want to do that um, with this. But it looks like a good, good build. It's got a square spine, which is a bit annoying. But to be fair, the um, 
the sort of independent publisher um, compendiums, i.e. not Marvel or DC, they, they do tend to be put together really well, so I don't think there's any concerns that there's going to be a bad binding or anything on it. But well, we'll see. I'll do a full review on that soon. Finally, <laughs> it's the Batman Omnibus Volume 1 from um, Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. Uh, this was unavailable for a while, or at least unavailable for a reasonable price, let's say. This one came in at 50 quid, and I'll pick it up while I can. It shot back up in price again recently, uh, but volume two is coming out soon. I've really got the trades of this, but it's a run I like, um, and I think it's the kind of thing I want to have in my collection with the with the other Batman books. Um, I'm not gonna get around to reading this one too soon because I've already read most of the stories, but I might do a review in the next month or so. Okay, so that's what I bought. Is there anything you got or you're looking forward to getting? Um, looking forward to the Aliens uh, Omnibus Volume 2 from Marvel at the end of the month, as well as Creature Volume 2 to complete my collection of those. Uh, other than that, Batman and Turtles at the end of the year. I might even just do a video saying what Omnibus I am looking forward to coming out, perhaps. I don't know. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe. And if there's any in there you want to see a particular review of, let us know.